What's happening, everybody? Michael does an unboxing video during his grandma's funeral here! Are there any family members who would like to say a few words about Mrs. Juju Scribble? I would, yo! What can I say about our beloved Juju right here? She was a grandma to me! She was an aunt to you! She was a lover to you! I walked in on y'all having sex once! I'm going to show my YouTube audience just what she looks like one more time before we put her in the hole. Michael, what the hell are you doing? Relax, Dad. It's gonna be respectful, and I'm gonna get a ton of views for this unboxing. Let's check and see how Granny's doing. Oh, God damn! Granny, you ain't looking so good! That's one unboxing you probably shouldn't do. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Brutes, and welcome back to F1 2021 season! Formula NASCAR, all that wrapped up in one. F1 NASCAR season. I forgot that's what we named it. We are coming off our first win of the season, folks, in Great Britain. Today, we head to my home track, the U.S. of A, Austin, Texas, CODA, Circuit of the Americas. It has so many names. Can we go back to back? We gained a lot of points last week. A lot of boys that put us right smack dab back in contention for this championship. I'm not going to go through the points just yet because I can't scroll through this stupid list that they got over here. They update the game and I still can't just click over a little bit and then go up and down to see where everybody is. Gotta wait until after I qualify to look at the standing. So that's what I'm going to do. And just like that, our best qualifying effort of the season, Yabba! Dabba Dusseldorf! Now we can take a look at these standings. King Louie is up in first place currently. Four points out, myself, as well as Max Vestibule. Only 10 points out for Ricky Ricardo, then 21 points out for Botox. Top five, all within one race of each other. Then you got the rest of everybody else. Currently, five drivers with zero points scored. Could that change today? Damn it. I don't know, I'm not a fortune teller. Stop asking me these difficult questions. I'm gonna get the race started now. Let's go! We bumped up to third in Constructors. We got 50 whole points now, 25 points out from uh, Mercedes. We'll be up there leading this shit before too long. What a race we have in store for us today with a competitive field ready to do battle once again. Hold on to the edge of your seat it's time for another Formula One Grand Prix. We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, where 20 corners and speeds of up to 200 miles an hour await us on this magnificent racetrack. It's 60% full throttle with plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into turn one and at the end of the long back straight into turn 12. What a race we have in store today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. I swear to God, Anthony there says the same exact thing every week. Our race strategy, I'm finally not going to toy around with because I don't think it does me any good when I do that. We don't have any rain to worry about. If I was Kevin Harvick, man, that would make me happy at this track. Time to roll, bitches. This is my second time attempting this. I don't know what changed, but the race starts are now on assisted. I don't remember ever turning that off. We're underway with the United States Grand Prix. I'm gonna bump trap my partner up here, up into that lead. Clean start, clean start. Everything's going all right. Lots of sparks, so. I probably shouldn't have doused myself in all that gasoline before the race. I'm a little bit nervous for my life right now. So far, so good. I mean, we had some really competitive races here. 
when we ran that live stream of this, of the, the Formula NASCAR, we had some really, really good, good runs. Look at me already putting it up into the lead. Great good, good runs in that live stream at this track, but I was never able to seal the deal. Something always happened. I got wrecked. I spun out right at the end. That took me out of contention. I'm hoping that doesn't happen today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just cruising along here, playing with my ding-dong, and then I get plowed into by the little mermaid. If you wanted to play along, all you had to do was ask. We are like 10 wide right now. Holy shit, there were so many cars all side by side. I don't know how many of us there were. Probably not safe to be all side by side like this in these S's. Yeah, I flip my fingers at you. Well, after all that battling there through the S's, King Louie has decided to drive off with it. Oh, I didn't know this was real life. I thought I modified the game. We gotta try to run him down. We gotta try to get up there. Latch on to his suck. There we go. Oh, we'll be fine now. You just gotta be within a second of the driver ahead and you'll get that clean suck right up to him. Just like that, you'll be right on his gearbox. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, I was exceeding track limits because I was plowing through Perez Hilton's asshole. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had no control over the fucking car. Now I'm gonna assume if I cut one more bloody corner that they're probably gonna penalize me because I had one earlier on. Oh no, no, you're not turning me at the front of the field and taking everybody the fuck out. I don't think so, bitch. Yeah, that was my second quarter cut of the day. I didn't feel the need to comment on the first one because it was so insignificant. I put one wheel on the red a little bit and they're like, oh, you cut our corner, fuck you. Well, you know what, fuck? Yo. So now I got two of them bad boys, and I'm sure if I do it a third time, I got three seconds waiting for me down on the pit road. I'm just noticing on the mini-map that things got pretty stretched out, much like my asshole did last Friday night. I don't know what happened back there, but what? I didn't even hit the button. I didn't even hit the, the B, the red B button. Why did that... Unless, did I just take some damage? What the hell was that? There's no damage on my car. I don't know. Weird shit is going on today. Are we racing on Friday the 13th? Boogity, 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 boys. We're like seven fucking wide! That was all sorts of scary. I better look out for a black cat, otherwise I might die. Better hope to God I don't like accidentally trip and fall into a mirror and shatter that shit because I'm gonna have a lot of bad luck after that on a day like today. This is one hell of a battle up here at the front today. My Lord, what the fuck? Is that like something new? Oh no. All the track position pissed away. That goddamn bullshit that keeps popping up is distracting me. It, it made me miss the racing line. Uh-oh. 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 Well, this ain't fucking good. I, like, didn't know what was happening there. Some information on I was in a state of shock. Of safety car, why? For a new strategy option. Shit, this is our first safety car of the season. Uh, yeah, confirm the change. We'll pit now. Whoa! I, like, had absolutely no clue what, what was going on. I, I was a little bit okay, shook right down, there. Your delta is and confused, I looped it. I don't even remember how I looped it. I hate this delta bullshit. God damn it, just let me catch up with everybody. And this thing keeps popping up on the goddamn screen. This has to come, they just, they just updated the game. They updated the game and I think this is part of it now. Okay, is what? Oh, there we go. I'm, too much is happening right now. I didn't know where pit entry was. Look at all those people sitting waiting to make their pit stops because you got multiple cars on pit road from the same team at one time. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. Let's take a minute to regroup here. I probably shouldn't run into the back end. I'll probably get a time penalty for that. So I looped it somehow over here a lap ago. 
I don't really remember what happened. It was all kind of a blur. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. I looped it though. Some people drove into me and I think it caused enough of a buildup of cars where they decided to throw the safety car. We were gonna pit in a couple laps anyway. So this all works out for me. I'm fine with it. We're good with tires till the end. Now this shit keeps popping up now. It's gotta be because of the update, and I'm assuming the update is also what changed my manual starts to automatic. It's annoying the shit out of me. It, it's like that brief moment, it pops up and my eyes get diverted, my attention is diverted, and then I lose focus and I miss the corner. I think other than that, we're good. We're all caught up, everybody's together here. Stroll in the park is out. I got it. <laughs> a lot of y'all said, Michael, you'll never get a safety car with the settings you got. I'm telling you, you get enough cars piled up and they will throw the safety car with these settings. Go safety car in, safety this car is in this lap. Coming in this lap, we got the little remember, mermaid in the lead. No taking until the green flags. I safety car in gained this a lap. lot. I was down in ninth after my spin and now I'm up to fifth, so that's pretty friggin' good. First half of this race was a little crazy. You ain't seen nothing yet. These next seven laps, you got a seven lap shootout to the end, baby. Now we're okay, green. Clear. We are green again. Ricky Ricardo up there looking for the lead. Remember, he's third, fourth in points. I had to remember for a second. I was gonna battle with N. Claire here for a minute, going through the S's, but I bailed out of it because I knew if I started going side by side with him, Fucking fuck your fucking incident. face, you fucking bullshit artist, bitch. Well, that kind of screws everything up now, doesn't it? I, why, God almighty, do I hate that. At this point now, best course of action for us. I mean, I barely put a friggin' wheel off. And they're like, oh, you can't do that. You got to stay on the racing surface. And now I'm getting driven into by Enclair. He's a bitch! Right now, best thing I could do is try to push someone away from this field and build up some sort of a gap. So, the three seconds doesn't hurt me too bad. I gotta work with Perez Hill in here. I gotta try to bump draft him away from the rest of the pack. So maybe I got a shot to hang out still to hold on to a podium finish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I fucked him up. This ain't working right now. I'm telling you, it's not working right now. I'm getting someone away from the field. We're going to need someone to make a mistake. Have the AI make a mistake of their own that separates these the, the, the cars from each other. Almost looped it again. I don't see anybody else getting no time penalties, which is pissing me off. And you know what else is pissing me off? Is bitches driving in to the back of my car! You know what'd be great is if all y'all behind me could wreck again, cause another safety car, then I could come down pit road, serve my little time penalty there, and could just finish wherever I intend to finish. This is making me big sad that we have such a good, good run going and it's just gonna be all for naught. Cause some bullshit, me putting my wheel in the red is, it's gonna take me out of these uh, positions. It's gonna drop me like a friggin' rock. And it's like me even just putting the wheel off a little bit like I did. It didn't gave me anything. It didn't gave me fuck all. But now we're the FIA. Our shit don't stink. We ain't never put a wheel over the yellow line in the middle of the street. Go and fuck your righteous ass. There we go again with that bullshit popping up. It's because I hit 20% wear on the right front wheel. Do you look like I give a shit? We've only got three laps left. Something major is gonna have to happen in order for us to, to get any sort of, oh! Halfway decent finish! Well, that ain't cool, bitch boy! That ain't freaking cool! 
What? I don't even know what to say right now. All I saw right there was some Kig Louie the fifth just hooking a right right on into me. Thank you. 20% wear on my left rear. Wonderful. Thank you. He just hooked a right. Cleaned me the fuck out. Sees me as his biggest threat to the championship and he tries to eliminate my ass. Two laps to go. Two laps. Fuck that cone. Fuck this race. Up at the front the whole damn time. Only to get cleaned out by a championship whore on three to go. Carlton here, me, that's what I like to call Fernando Alonso, because Alonso Rivera played Carlton in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Get on my wavelength, you gotta keep up with me now. Carlton here hasn't won a championship in half a millennia. King Louie wins them every year. He can't give me a chance. Now, of fucking course, these guys behind me ran me down. So I'm not even going to finish in the points. I'm going to lose out on the two points I currently have to my name because of this three-second bullshit. I just... This is the first race where I have legitimately been pissed off. Oh, this sucks, man. This really friggin' blows. Oh, look at that. Gassy sending it up the gut. Last second dive bomb, motherfucker. Oh, who gives a fuck anymore at this point? Who gives a shit? I'm not hanging on any of this spot. I ain't getting ninth. I ain't getting ninth out of this. All because of King Louie. He granted the three seconds from before. I did that to myself, but I didn't need to get freaking turned into by a bitch. Are you kidding me? Of all people to win, are you kidding me? That piece of ass. Okay, this is the oh my! Out. This is the first time since like the Monaco challenge. Remember when I used to do those videos? That I this is the first time I've been this pissed at a fucking F1 game since the Monaco challenge. Y'all can fuck the yourself! Team. Can't Once believe again, this ass muncher got the win. Weekend. He is it's like the last one I need to win. Again. Have win today. He's the points leader. I got no points. I'm going to be over a full race out. Just after I bring myself back into contention with that dub in Great Britain. Now, no, here you go, Michael. Here's a big old plate of fuck you. Two points, zero points. The hell difference does it make? We end up taking home 14th. We would have had a ninth place. Granted, I would like to have those two points, but you know, we can't have nice things all the time in the in the Michael Moobs camp so um I'm starting on the second half of the field because that's where I finished we got stroll in the park the only DNF uh these guys still can't get out of their own fucking way they all finish all the way at the back and uh do you know Geo he's the last one that of the five aside from these four that hasn't scored any points while well, Geo still hasn't scored any points. Okeechobee here carried the banner for Alpini, gaining one whole fucking point. Man, you are a wonder. Like we already saw, King Louie gets the goddamn win. Of course. And Ricky Ricardo comes home in second. Perez Hilton in third, rounding out the podium. Vestibule in fourth all the guys that i didn't need to finish up near the front finished up near the fucking front botox in fifth the little mermaid in sixth chuck norris in seventh and claire eighth gassy in ninth and well i said that already shit hell balls we lose 25 points we're now 29 out 26 is the maximum you can make up in one race this is four races in. We've got six races to go. We can't have this inconsistency if we want championship. It's not going to work. Even though this is like bingo and it's just like the lottery where you don't know who's going to end up at the front. 
King Louie is still finding a way to the front every single freaking time, and it's pissing me off. Here's the rest. Yeah, five losers still at the bottom. We lost the spot in Constructors because Okeechobee could only give us, you know, one point. Could only give one point to the team, but I guess that's more than I was able to give. But granted, I had a three-second bullshit penalty, and I also got my ass chewed out by a bitch. What the hell happened here? What happened here? Who turned who? I was already getting knocked around a little bit. Why did he... Nice glitch out right there, right when I wanted to see the shit. Why did he hook a right like that? Here we go, we're riding along with King Louie here. You've gotta be kidding me. You've absolutely gotta be kidding me. You're telling me my race fell apart? Because this bitch got scared, going along, going along, and the little mermaid hooks to the right a little bit, just makes this slight, slight little move, and that like, ah, scares King Louie so goddamn bad, he cranks it right the fuck into me, and of course he saves the shit, but what about me? I'll tell you what about me. I'm over here fucking dead! Next week, we will head to Mexico and hopefully get our season turned back in the right direction. We will be halfway through after next week's race, and apparently, they're already projecting rain for that event. But you know the weather service. They can never accurately predict when rain will strike. So, hopefully... That will change before next week's race. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I love eh, every single last one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Fuck King Louie. Go!